Hi folks, Gordon Brewer here with the Practice of Therapy. I want to show you real quickly in this demonstration or this little two, mini tutorial how I use two tools to keep my social media feed full. And those two tools are Feedly and Buffer. So I have my Feedly app on here and my Buffer app. The Feedly app is an RSS feed, so in other words, it downloads or shows me articles that come out on the internet of just hundreds and hundreds of uh, different social media, um, uh, not social media, but blog posts and articles that might come out. So what I do first thing in the morning is I go to Feedly, and I'm going to go back here to, the, to today. Um, and you see there are do several different articles here. And what I do is just scan through and look for titles that I think will be interesting to my particular audience or people that are out there. So, for example, with the Practice of Therapy blog and um, website, I usually put stuff that has to do with business, with social media, or articles about private practice, or about counseling, or anything that I think might be um, interesting to the people that are that are maybe following me online. Uh, the other thing that I do with this is I've also got my private practice uh, Facebook page linked to Buffer with this. So what I do is go through and scan these articles and uh, find stuff that is um, I think might be interesting to uh, different. Uh, people within my audience. So, um, so for example, this top article here, How to Have Difficult Conversations from Psychology Today. That's probably a pretty good article. Now I can go in here and scan over the article and see um, if it is really something I want to put on my, on my uh, Facebook page for my private practice. And so this looks like a pretty good article here. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to put it into my Buffer. Now, Buffer is another app that you can get for free, and it will allow you to put up to three accounts in there. So I go into my Buffer, and I'm going to go over here and tell it which ones to put it into. I'm not going to put it into my Twitter feed for private practice or LinkedIn because it doesn't really fit for that, but it does fit for my Kingsport Counseling Associates Facebook page. And you could put up to 10 posts in here with the free version. So I've only got three in there now, so I'm going to buffer that. And so it's loaded. And so it will come out in, on my Facebook page in part of the, um, um, throughout the day. So buffer, let me go in there and show you this real quickly. Buffer will um, go up here to these different accounts. So I put that and to Kingsport Counseling. These were some old posts that did fail for some reason. I'll probably just go ahead and delete that. Yeah, just delete that. So um, there, you can see how to have difficult conversations will be posted tomorrow on my Facebook page. And so it's done automatically. I'm done. I don't have to spend any more time on this. So um, using Buffer and Feedly, my routine is, is I get up every morning, fix my coffee, sit down while I'm waking up, and start looking at my Feedly to find articles that I think are going to be interesting to the different people in my audience. So Buffer and Feedly, great tools to use. And thanks for uh, watching this short video. And uh, do read the, uh, if you haven't already, read the blog post I'm doing on this. Thanks. <laughs>